Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about Windows Movie Maker. Well, more importantly, not Windows Live Movie Maker. You see, over the course of time, there have been multiple movie makers. There's been Movie Maker 2.6, which came on Windows XP. Then there came along Windows Movie Maker 6, which is revered as probably the greatest movie maker of all time. It shipped on Windows Vista. Then, when Windows 7 rolled around, they came out with Windows Live Movie Maker, which in my mind is a crock, but I digress. In my last video of how to use .mov files with Windows Movie Maker, many people commented and said, Why don't you have Windows Live Movie Maker? What version of Windows Movie Maker is that? To which I replied, it's Movie Maker 6. So, in this video, I'm going to show you not only how to get Windows Movie Maker 6, but also how to make Windows Movie Maker 6 HD. Alright, let's get to it. In the description of this video, you can download Windows Movie Maker 6 in both 32 and 64 bit, as well as the Movie Maker HD profiles, which are these things here. They're .prx files, and they basically allow Windows Movie Maker to export in high definition. I'm including both the 1920x1080 one and the 1280x720 one. I only really use the 1080 one myself, but you know. So, I downloaded the .64-bit one, as I have a 64-bit computer. So all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on this, double-click, and click Run. It'll say Movie Maker 6.0 for Windows 7, and it's uh, configuring it, as you can see. Just wait a second. A little thing pops up, User Account Control, just click Yes. It's loading here. And that's as simple as that. It's installed on your computer. Right here, if I go into my program and click Windows Movie Maker 6, there it is, installed. All right, now that we've installed Windows Movie Maker, let's install the HD profiles. All we have to do is go down into the Start menu, click Computer, then click Local Disk, or whatever your local disk is called, go to Program Files, and then click Movie Maker, and this window should pop up. Um, then double-click Shared, and click Profiles, and it should be empty, in theory, after you've installed it. So all you're going to have to do is click these two profiles and drag them right in. Continue. And there you go. If you click on Windows Movie Maker now, you will be able to click Publish Movie and select either 1920x1080 or 1280x720 as a resolution. Alright my friends, that is the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you out in any way, why not click the subscribe button? Until next time everyone, thanks for watching.